Good morning, everyone. Um, in today's video, I wanted to do some more straw blown flowers. Um, in my previous painting, this is um, how they turned out. And I've done this quite a bit before and I always kind of do the same um, overall shape of just kind of puddling my colors and then blowing them out. This time I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. Instead of just one puddle for my colors, I kind of want to do a couple of different small dots and then blow them out and try and get uh, more of a petal shape. I have a small canvas. I think this is just an eight by 10. So it's just a nice small canvas. And then I have my straw that I'm using. And then for my colors, I have white for my base coat. And then I just have a couple of different shades of purple and a really light beige. So what I'm going to do is just use my sponge brush and put my um, base coat down and then start out with some small puddles of colors. And I have everything mixed with Sargent Art Gloss Medium and water. Um, and it just gives me a really nice thin consistency for this. I don't want it too thin or else it'll move too much, but I also don't want it too thick or else I don't think the flower petals will blow out well. Um, but I just wanna do, have it thin enough so that I hopefully get the look that I'm going for. But I'm just going to tilt this a little bit. There we go, even it out. And remove some of those uh, just lines that I get from that sponge. But I'm just gonna decide where I wanna put my first one. Um, and something that you could do with this, it would probably make it quite a bit easier, is to actually um, put all your paint in like a little squeeze bottle um, so that you could squeeze out your colors in the directions that you want or the locations where you want them. So I'm just gonna start out and I'm gonna use just a small amount of paint. Um, I don't wanna use too much or it might just kinda turn into a great big blob. But I'll just do this slowly and then blow them out and see what happens. So if I'm just using a small amount of paint, I'll definitely have some paint left over. Um, I could always do another technique with them. Okay, and then just one more color. My last color here is called Blue Violet, so it's actually more blue than purple, but I thought it would be pretty to have it as a contrasting color to all the purples. So let's see how I can blow this out. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. Yeah, so a nice, just small amount of paint um, is making it much easier to control where I'm blowing it out. I like how I can really control my petal shape. I'm not really liking the beige color in there, so I think what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more of this light purple and then blow that in a little bit. Um, but I do like that blue that's mixing in with the purples. That's really pretty. Uh, this would be a really nice color to try and do some irises or something. So I'm gonna move on to my next one. I don't want them to really blend too much into each other. I'm just going to do a couple in a few different areas. But yeah, next time I might put my paint in some squeeze bottles that might make it quite a bit easier. Then do my purple. And then my last blue color. So again, we'll just take our straw and start blowing everything out. Thank you. 
So those are really pretty. I really like um, how I was able to get more of a petal shape than just like a round blob like I've had in the past. Just really small amounts of paint. I think you can get more control over on where you're blowing. It won't get super muddy. I'm thinking about scraping this one because I really don't like that color. And if I scrape it, I may be able to fit one here and part of one here. And just add a little bit more white paint for my base. Hopefully that will work out just fine. Yeah, I think we'll have enough room to at least run that petal off the side. And then in this one, instead of leaving all that light purple at the bottom, I'm going to try and blend that in a little bit more with the other colors. We'll see how this works. Again, we'll just take our straw and start blowing these out. Okay, so I'm gonna leave those to dry as is. Um, hopefully they turned out okay, but I hope you guys like this video. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below, and if you like this different, um, slightly different style of the straw blown flower technique, I think it'll look really nice in contrast to what I've done previously. Um, I have some ideas for trying to do like an iris or other types of flowers, so we'll see how this works. Um, but I really like the purples. They're always a really nice color, and I do like having a little bit of that blue in there. So hopefully everything Thing will dry well. Um, this area I had a little bit too much white right in there when I scraped and added but I think the rest should dry nicely. So we'll see how it looks once it's all dry. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel. I do post three videos a week and you can hit that bell for notifications and I will see you guys all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching today.